Hi and welcome to this edition of Out the Box. My name's Paul. Today we're going to be having a look at what is in this box. This is the uh, brand new Ubiquiti Wireless 6 Long Range, so the U6-LR. Um, only just released. Um, fantastic new product from Ubiquiti. It's not meant to be a technical overview, but I will show you what's in the box and then just talk about the unit a little bit. So, here's the device itself. We'll come back to that in a moment. You are going to get the ever increasingly small in size uh, get started guide just with a QR code on there. Do remember you need the cloud key um, or an app on your phone or um, the software installed on a computer to get these configured. All right, so do remember they don't just work by plug and play. You're going to get the con uh, a little compliance guide, which you'll probably never read and throw away. Um, you are going to get a plate for marking out um, and mounting on a wall or a hard ceiling, um, the uh, fixing plate. Um, then you get what is essentially um, in the uh, Ubiquiti Versatile um, kit. So you get um, the Ubiquiti main universal mounting plate um, with all the various hole options on it. You get the false ceiling plate. So if you've not seen that before, um, this uh, plate here um, will lock into position this way around, turn the unit around, will lock into position in here and hold your uh, unit um, hard like that against the surface. But say you've got um, something like a false ceiling, one of the removable tiles, um, there's not normally enough strength in that to hold that. So you'll use this plate above, all right, and then you will put the bolts, we'll show you in the pack in a minute, bolt these two plates together and then you can clip um, the access point on the bottom. All right, you will then get uh, a whole bunch of additional mounting items. Let me just bring that up to the screen there for you. So you're going to get these. These will clip onto uh, ceiling rails if you have a tile system and don't want to mount it onto the tile. All right, we have um, a lug um, or a plug here. Um, we have a few bolts like I was talking about for being able to mount this um, onto a tile. Um, and then we do have here um, some wall plugs and screws. So that is the main set of items that you get in the box. We'd like to just show you first a comparison in size. This is the new Wireless 6 Long Range. This is the older uh, AC Pro. Now, if you've known the uh, previous range, AC Pro, before that um, in the range, you've obviously got the AC Lite, the smallest of all of them, and then you've got the AC Long Range, which is smaller than the AC Pro, um, and then you've got the Wireless 6 Long Range. It is a pretty sizable um, device. Well built, solid, um, just show you on the back, there's not a lot to see. Um, there is just really the mounting ridges on here. Um, see the, the camera might have too much light to really see what's happening on there on the front. All right, on the bottom then obviously the bit we're interested in, we have a bung, um, which is the same as that we'll have on things like the AC Pro and above. It's designed to keep uh, a small amount of moisture, but mainly dust and small critters out. So if we remove uh, that from there. Um, we would normally pass our Ethernet cable up and through that hole and then into here. There is, let me make sure this is tilted downwards enough, there is a single Ethernet port in there um, and you will find then by a small reset switch. This Ethernet port is one gig a second. It is important to bear in mind that when we move to wireless 6 we technically increase the throughput of this device. This is a 4x4, four, four, four spatial streams, four antennas in both the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz range. In the 2.4, it can do around about 600 megasecond. Uh, in theory, in that um, Wi-Fi 6, the 5 gigahertz space, it can do 2.4 gigabits a second of throughput, except we only have a one gig Ethernet port. All right, so do bear that in mind. I know we don't live in a perfect world and the likelihood of us getting um, over one gig a second through an access point um, is probably fairly um, unlikely. In the higher end of these ranges, we will, I'm sure, see uh, faster port speeds. We do have that in a couple of the top end um, access points from Ubiquiti at the moment where we see 2.5 or 5 um, gigabits a second Ethernet ports. Uh, but it's just bear in mind, this is not going to give you any more than one gigabit a second, but it is going to give you more stability and more general throughput and connectivity. So hopefully that's been useful. Hey look, over on our um, YouTube channel, you can find loads more box openings. We cover firewalls, wireless, and other networking devices. You, there is also a whole bunch of how-tos. 
Um, we've got some guides on what do I need to set up a Unify network. So if you're not quite sure what you need from the cloud key to the um, PoE switches um, to access points, then do check that out. It'll help you put it all together and know what you need to create a fantastic system at home. So hopefully that's been useful. That is the Ubiquiti um, U6LR, the new Wireless 6 long range access point. My name is Paul.